someone was talking to me today about a video I just shared about dealing with family systems and family members sort of treating you like they've always treated you or have historically. How do you deal with specific family members? My name is Haim, I'm a licensed therapist out of California. Three steps. Step one, there's one person in particular who's bugging you or a group. You talk to them individually, very lovingly. You say you wanna have a good relationship. This is my intention. You're stating your intention. Hey, I wanna have a good relationship with you, sis. As we're growing, things change and our relationships change and I just wanna to talk to you because I love you and I wanna be close to you. When you talk to me in this tone or you say these things to me, it makes me feel bad. And then I go into old tones. You wanna empower yourself. Continuously blaming other people for the family system disempowers you. If you want to hear more about that, go read Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Our only point of power is in the present. Every time we go into regressive, automated behavioral patterns, we are not in the present. You want to be profoundly aware, bearing witness of your tendencies to regress, get irritated, bypass your cerebral cortex, and go into entrained patterns. You're disrupting the pattern gently, lovingly, consciously, knowing that we all have our blind spots. And you ask them, hey, what did you take away from this conversation? I'm gonna make sure they understand. And you may have to patiently restate it 10 times. They might get defensive, da 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 da, -da. Remind them, you're not attacking them. You're just saying that times change and let's change together. I always say, I know I get irritating, I can be so annoying. I try to own my shit. You're modeling behavior. Step two, if they should treat you again in those habituated ways, whether it's publicly or privately, you say out loud, hey sis or brother or dad or mom, how do you think that's making me feel? What you're saying to me and the way you're talking to me about it. Full stop. And if they get defensive or they ignore the question, you repeat the question. You say to them, I've spoken to you about this in private. You know how it makes me feel. How do you think it's making me feel right now? Step two may take years to help people get out of their patterns. I mean, you gotta be on your fucking game too. You want other people to grow? You fucking grow. You do the goddamn work. Stop getting so irritated at people's habituated patterns, even if they're your sister and your brother. Learn to have empathy. Learn to see other people's perspectives. People have gotten entrained in their behavior patterns as a self-defense protective mechanism, right? Step three is you. Fucking sister, right? This is out. Sister, 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 brother, brother, brother. Let's talk about you. That is the only place where you are having your power. You keep handing other people your power, the power to sway your emotional content, the power to disrupt your cognitive peace, the power to shift your energetic experience. I encourage you, you better fucking own your shit. Time to level the fuck up. That last video I made, family experiences give you a wonderful opportunity to learn about yourself. You need to be coming at your family unaggressively. You keep coming at them aggressively, you keep getting irritated, you keep getting passive aggressive, you keep giving people the silent treatment, expecting people to change without communicating. That's all you. Now you're just continuing the family system. You want a real healing? You're dealing with generational trauma. You're dealing with generational inheritance just like them. Compassion, baby. Self-compassion. What are the three pillars of self-compassion? Go check that video. My name is Haim, licensed therapist out of California. Peace.